Hello and welcome to One Minute Maya. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use depth maps within Photoshop. Okay, so here's a scene that I've worked on recently. It's a uh, staircase with a load of rubbish along the steps. It's looking pretty flat at the moment and what I want to do is uh, introduce some depth of field into the picture. So I've got this depth map that I created uh, within Maya. Um, to make this, as I've got another tutorial, which I'll put in the description below. Um, so once you've got this depth pass or depth map, um, go into your channels tab. Make sure you've got it visible. Um, go onto the blue channel, right-click, duplicate channel, and call this one Alpha, like so. And you see it's highlighted red, that means it's working, it's acting as the alpha channel. Okay, so we want to hide this. Go on to your stairs, go on to filter, blur, lens blur. As you can see, all of it's um, all blurred out completely. So you need to go onto the uh, source and change it to the alpha, that's the channel that you just made earlier. As you can see, it's starting to work already. Oops, it's starting to work already. You've got uh, depth of field here and around here. These are the two attributes you need to uh, that are most important: the blur focal distance and the radius. The blur focal distance determines where you want the camera to focus. So, as you can see, it's focusing more on this top area here now. If I scroll it back it's focusing more on the foreground so we're going to try and get somewhere in between like so that's good okay and the radius determines how blurry you want the um, the unfocused parts to be so if I crank this up really high as you can see it's very very blurry so just get it to where you want it I want it quite subtle like so maybe even that's a bit too much there we go and then all you need to do is press OK it's done applied straight onto your picture and as you can see it gives it a lot more depth and a better feeling of realism there we go